Okay, today is cardio boot camp. We've got some abs in here as well. So it's going to be a segment of 10 exercises. Um, I'm going to be taking you through every exercise. You guys are going to um, need a water bottle and a towel. If you have some light dumbbells, you can use them today, but they're not necessary. If you don't want to use dumbbells in this workout, um, you can just use your own body weight. I'm going to be doing, um, showing you guys in the first round, the modification, and then how you can up the exercise. So in the second and third rounds, you're going to be doing three sets of these 10 exercises with one minute rest in between. So after the first set, it's going to be a bit of a learning curve, um, like I said, to show you high impact and then the modification move. And then after that, we're just going to go straight into it. We're going to get started. We're going to do a warm up. So we're going to do everything in a segment of eight count. So we're going to do some shoulder shrugs or shoulder. Uh, we're going to go back for eight. Here we go. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. We're going to do a little bit of a spine twist. We're going to pivot. One, two, we're stretching out your core, stretching out your legs, we're stretching out everything. Seven, we're going to hold it here. Okay, we're going to elongate and come down. We're going to stretch those hip flexors. Stretch out your whole body. Good. How you guys doing? And last one here. We're going to hold it here. Just keep your hand here and we're going to reach. So really going to stretch your obliques right here. Four, five, six, seven. You guys should really feel that. And eight. Now we're going to roll your shoulders forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Back to that little twist. One, two, three, four, just warming everything up. And last one here and hold. Now we're going to stretch out your hip flexors. So we're going to bend the leg. Elongate. Two. Three. Four. Five. Really stretch out that body. It's going to work hard for you today. <laughs> last one here. Now take that arm and stretch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one here. Good. All right. We're just going to go into some nice active lunges, just side to side. Wearing up those legs, nice and easy. Good. Chest up. All right. We're going to take it into a bit of a squat with a toe touch. So we're going to squat, toe touch, squat. That's two. So to add insult to injury, it snowed big time here. <laughs> Within the last couple days, all the snow had gone prior to that. Last one here, guys. So it was a little bit of ray of sunshine in all this chaos and the temperature was beautiful. We were able to get outside and go for walks. And now that's just not something that we can do right now. So, but we have this and we have each other, right? Yes, we do. Okay. Our first exercise is an inchworm. I'm going to stand this way for the first round so you guys can see what it looks like. Let me demonstrate and then I'll have you guys join in. Okay. So feet are together. We're going to roll our body down. Walk out into a plank. Can you see me, Ava? And then you're just literally going to push yourself back, roll back up again, okay? Are you guys ready? So this is not very rushed. It's very controlled, and we're going to do five of these. Ready? Here we go. So roll down, walk, walk, walk. It's like a half second pause when you get it into that full plank. Good. So that's one. Roll, 
walk it out. Hold that plank for a second. Good. That's two. And here we go. That's three. So this is working your whole body. We're activating your abs, your shoulders, your legs. Everything is being activated here. Last one here. It's kind of a nice way to introduce all the rest of the exercises that are going to come. All right, so that's, that was five. Everybody's good. You guys can hear me okay? Everybody's good? All right. Our next exercise, it's going to be a lateral bound. I'm going to show you what it looks like without using any weight, and then I'm going to show you what you can do with a light dumbbell. A lateral bound. So all you're going to do, you're going to get into this position. I want you to explode off one side. So you can start with your left, your right, whatever you want. So you're going to just literally skip to the side, tuck that leg behind you. If you don't have the balance, you can tap it out. Okay. Now that's without any weight except your body. You can take a little medicine ball if you have one, or you can take a dumbbell, and then you're going to just bring that dumbbell side to side. Okay, you guys ready? We have 20 of these. Ready? Nice and controlled. Again, form over fast. I don't want any of these exercises done with a great amount of speed. It's all about form and control. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. One, two, three. If you have that dumbbell, I want you to tuck it. Watch how my elbows go back. Good. Ava, can you come be my counter? And last one here. I think that was 20. <laughs> I'm asking my daughter to come count for me. Sometimes it's hard to talk with form and everything and get all the reps in. All right, next one. We are going to do a burpee. So we're either gonna do just 10 burpees. I think everybody knows what a burpee looks like. I'm gonna show you how you can add on to this if you wanna make it more challenging. A burpee, you're gonna come down. Okay, that's a regular burpee. If you want to make this more challenging, I'm gonna do eight pounds. I have eight pound dumbbells, so I'm going to come down into that burpee, and this time I'm going to go into a bicep with a shoulder raise, so it looks like this, up, so that's how you can make it more challenging to work your upper body a little bit more. If you don't like this, then you're just going to take it to a regular burpee, all right? We have 10 guys. You can do this, come on, I know you can. Three, two, one, here we go. Burpee, shoulder raise, or you're gonna jump there. That's two. That's three. Come on guys, you're stronger than you think. Come on. I know it's hard. If it was easy, Everybody in the world would be doing this right now, but you're not everybody, right? You guys are dedicated to your fitness. You guys want to be better than you were yesterday. Okay, how many is this guy? <laughs> That's why I need my daughter. Is this 10? I think this is 10. Okay, good work. Grab some water, hydrate. Hydration is crucial. Everybody can hear me okay? Everybody's good? All right. All right, next exercise. Uh, the first one, we don't need any addition. It's just going to be your run-of-the-mill jump squat, okay? So your feet are going to be wider than your shoulders. You're going to start in this position. You can use your arms for momentum. All right, so we're gonna start into the squat. You're gonna explode off every time you land. 
back into the squat. I want you to be nice and soft on those toes. And in that squat, I don't want you to stop here. You're going to draw your knees. You're always coming down into that squat again. Now, if you don't like the jumping, you are just going to come down into that squat and just take it up on your toes. That is going to be your modification. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. Come on, we got this, right? Three, two, one. We have ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're doing great. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yay! Good work, guys. Catch your breath. We're just going to catch your breath just for a few seconds and get right back into the next one. All right, next one. While you guys are catching your breath and having some water, I'm going to show you your next move. Your next move is going to be a jump squat. So your feet are going to be in a wide stance. This time with your toes pointed forward, they are pointed out to the side. Now this is going to activate your inner thigh muscles. Okay, now for the modification, you can just come up on your toes. Okay, that's how you're gonna take the jump out. Or you're going to explode, right? You can do it this way. If you wanna take it one step further, you can take a light weight. I have an eight pound in my hand, whatever you want. I wouldn't go any higher than maybe 15. 15 pounds, but I have an eight pounds. So you're just going to cup it in your hand. Elbows are tucked in and then you can explode. Okay. So there's three different variations on how you can do that exercise. I'm going to actually, you know what? I'm going to keep my weight. I slept good last night. <laughs> I'm feeling a little ambitious today. If you feel you have the energy to go for it, then go for it. All right. We have 10 of these guys. You guys ready? Three, two, one, deep squat and explode. Two, again, nice and soft. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice work, guys. Good. All right. The next three to four exercises are going to be your active recovery. So, before we get into our ab segment, we're gonna do some lunges and they're called around the world. I will demonstrate in one second. How are you guys doing at home? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're staying sane, <laughs> keeping busy. Okay, so around the world. Um, I'm not gonna use any, any uh, extra weight for this one, just my own body weight. So you can keep your hands here for balance. We're going to lunge forward, lunge to the side. When you lunge to the side, this leg is locked and toes are pointed forward, okay? So it's one side lunge and then one back lunge. Now we're gonna do five on each side. If you don't want to lunge too deep, then just lunge here. You don't have to take it all the way down and that's another way that you can modify this. Okay, you guys ready? Three, two, one. So we have one lunge to the front, side, keep that leg locked, and back. So that's one. So every time we do all three, that counts as one rep. Okay, that's two. You guys are doing great. That's three. Nice form, keep that back flat. Last one here, okay. And back here. When I say keep that back flat, I'm gonna demonstrate when I would do the left side, okay? So we're gonna start in three, two, one. You guys do it with me, but I'm gonna show you what I don't want you to do. So here we go. I don't want you to round your back like that, okay? I want your back nice and flat even when you come to that side lunge i don't want any hump back 
Your back is nice and flat, okay? And then back, okay. That counts as one. I just wanted to show you guys where your form should be. This is three reps coming up right here. Nice. Ooh, I lost my balancer for a sec. If you're anything like me, and if you kind of look the other way, even for a brief second, I lose my balance. I'm just like that. And that's five. Nice. All right, we are going to do some abs. We have three exercises. This is your active recovery. Okay, our first one is going to be a sky reach. I'm just getting my mat, you guys. Now, you guys can take a light weight. You can take a medicine ball, even a soup can. And if you don't have anything, you're going to use your own body weight, okay? All right, I'm going to show you what it looks like without any weight. You're going to anchor your feet, your heels. Your legs are going to come out wide. That's going to be your anchor, okay? So... You can have your hands here. So you're going to slowly come back and then sit up nice and tall. Slow, 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 slow. We want to activate all those abs and then you're gonna come up. It's actually a little bit easier if you do have a weight because it kind of helps you get back up there. Okay, so I have my eight pound. Again, I'm cupping into my hands, elbows are tucked in. We're sitting up nice and tall to start. We have 10 of these, okay? So we're gonna go control, 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 and up, nice and tall. We're literally like crunching every abdominal on the way down. I'm having trouble going all the way down and touching my back because my microphone is back there and I don't wanna squish it. So if you're noticing my head is like up, that's why. But I would like you to come down all the way if you can, okay? So down, control, control, and up. Really use those abs to control your movement down and to bring you back up. And when you're coming back up, you can use a bit of force, okay? And I'm thinking this might be the last one. Again, my counter doesn't want to count for me today. You know what? If it's not 100% 10 reps, I'm not going to be too worried about it. And if we get a couple extra in there, it will be good for us too. <laughs> okay, frog abs. For this one, we're going to be lying down. Now, your hands are going to be here, purely for stability. Now, your legs, I want your heels to touch so that your legs are kind of like in a frog leg position. Okay, so... Let me demonstrate the first two. So we're going to bring your legs in and you're gonna contract those abs and release. To try to keep those legs as close to the floor as you can, okay? And every time we come in and crunch, that's when we're drawing our knees in. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, and contract. Nice and controlled. Two, three, Make those abs work for you. So now our upper abs are working and our lower abs because as soon as you lift your feet off the floor, your lower abs are engaged and your legs are working too, right? Because you have to bring them into your body. <clears throat> I'm thinking this might be nine. Let's just do one more for good measure. <laughs> good. Awesome. All right, mountain climbers. Ooh, and I am losing my microphone. Bear with me for a second here. Okay, hopefully that'll stay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do mountain climbers. So I'm gonna move my mat out of the way. So if you don't want to do the high impact, this is high impact here. So you're in full plank, keep your body nice and straight and tight no soggy back i want a nice flat back you're just going to run your knees towards your chest okay 
If you don't want to do the full out, you're going to just take it one at a time. Okay, but they're gonna be quick. All right, we have 50, or 16 of these, so I'm gonna be even. You guys ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How you doing? Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Just take it back a little bit. And I'm gonna give the people who are modifying a chance to catch up because we are a little faster. All right. Our last high impact move in these 10 exercises is going to be a stabilized jump squat. Just let me demonstrate. Okay, we are here. We're in this nice squat position, okay? So now we're gonna jump ahead for two and come back for two. Every time we come back, one way, or go front and back, that's one rep. So it's gonna look like this. We're gonna go two, back, two. And that counts as one rep. Now, if you don't like the constant squat position, and if you don't wanna jump, you can just go one, two, right? You can step it. There's always a way to make it more challenging and a way to make it a little bit easier for you, okay? Come on, guys. Last exercise in the first set. Here we go. One, two, back. That's one rep. Good. Your quads are going to burn. I'm not going to lie. Okay. This is number three. One more, guys. I know it's burning. You're probably cursing at me at home, and that's okay. And done. Love me today. Or hate me today. Love me tomorrow. But you're going to love it. <laughs> All right, we have about 30 to 40 seconds of recovery. And then we're gonna do this two more times. Now, we're gonna go a little quicker into the second and third set because you know what to expect now. I've showed you the modification moves. I will remind you of what you can do as we're doing these exercises if you forget how to modify. I will add some reminders in there. Forgive me if I'm not counting exactly to 10 or however many reps, but I am um, saying we're gonna do, <laughs> because again, I'm trying to talk to you guys about form and technique, and sometimes I just lose track. So bear with me on that. Like I said, normally I have my daughter as my counter. She bailed on me today. I think she's starting to get sick of her old ma. <laughs> uh, no escape from the family, right? All right. You guys ready to do this again? And towel off. If you are on a hardwood surface or laminate, whatever, if you are sweating buckets and it's dripping on the floor, take an old towel or something and wipe up the sweat so you don't slip. I always want you guys to be safe first. Safety is always first. All right, here we go. Round two, inchworms. I'm gonna demonstrate from the side profile. So feet are together, okay? We're rolling down, walk out into that plank. Hope you guys can see me here. And then you're gonna walk yourself up slowly and roll up. All right, so that's one. Walk, walk, walk. Hold that plank for a second. And you're gonna walk back up. Rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Nice and controlled, guys. Good. Nice. I love this one. I just find this is a really nice way to work your whole body. You're stretching out everything, and everything is engaged. Your arms, your abs, your legs, everything is working. Was this number four or number five? <laughs> You know what I mean? Let's do one more. One more for good measure, right? Good. And up. All right, we're back to those lateral bounds. I'm going to use my 10 pound. Now, if you don't want to use any weight, you're not going to use weight. You're just going to swing your arms side to side and tucking in those elbows, okay? 
So we have 50, or so we have 20 of these. We're going to start in this position. We're going to explode off your weight bearing leg, left or right, whichever one you want to start with. Okay, here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you want to tap it here, you can do that if you don't have the balance. It's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good work. All right. We're going to go a little faster, like I said. Now we're going to do burpees with a jump, or you're going to do dumbbells with a shoulder press, okay? I'm going to stick to my eight pounds. Usually I can do a little more, but I'm finding I'm getting pretty winded, <laughs> and I'm in it with you, you guys. My struggles are your struggles, and vice versa. We're in this together. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. And three, two, one. We have 10. Burpee, come up. Now, if you're not using weights, you're jumping this part. And if you don't like the jump, then just eliminate it all together. That's three. That's four. Nice. Again, not too fast. We want these controlled. That's six. Good. How you guys doing? You should be huffing and puffing. Eight. Two more, you guys. Come on. I know you can do it. Nine. Last one here. And ten. Good. Did you finish it? Did you finish it strong? I hope you guys did. All right. We are into jump squats. Okay? A quick reminder, if you don't want to do the jump, you're going to squat. Take it up on your toes. Okay? If you have the energy, if you don't have trouble with your knees, then let's take it up a notch. See how explosive you can get. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. We have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. Come on, guys. Two more. And 10. Woo! Good work. Grab some water if you need it. I need it. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Back into those sumo squats. Jump squats. Now, like I said, as a reminder, you can do it with a dumbbell. Feet are a little bit wider than your shoulders. It's time they're pointed. Toes are pointed out. You can cup that dumbbell. You can either squat. Sorry, guys. <laughs> or you can jump. Or you don't have to use any weight at all. And if you don't want to use any weight, you can do the jump or just come up on your toes. So many ways that you can do this, right? Whatever you feel comfortable with. All right, we got 10 of these as well. Here we go, guys. And one, two, three, four, five. Good. Six, seven. Your legs are burning. I know. Nine, 10. Good work. Love it. You guys are awesome. Okay. Active recovery time. So we're going to do around the world lunges. Five per side. Back is nice and straight. You can put your arms here for balance. You can put them here. Wherever you feel comfortable with. For these ones, I like my arms here. I find they stabilize my body, okay? So we're going to lunge front, side, and back. Every time we do that, that's one rep. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. I'm going to lunge front. Keep that leg locked on that side lunge and back. So that's one. Good. Side and back. That's two. Good. Woo. A little too much gusto. I almost knocked myself over. <laughs> this is four right here. Oh, I'm full of piss and vinegar this morning. <laughs> Last one here. 
on this side that is side keep that back nice and straight guys good shake it out a bit get ready for the other side three two one front lunge leg locked back nice and flat and back good that's one side leg locked toes pointing forward that's two who's sweating bullets with me <laughs> i know i'm sweating up a storm here you guys should be too last one here towel off when you get too sweaty and that was your last one take a sip of water hydration is crucial guys we want to stay nice and hydrated all right we're back to our abs okay so let me just get my mat okay normally i have thicker mats but they're covering my windows right now so there's no glare so i'm using a yoga mat and if you guys are on hardwood or hard surface if you don't have a mat use a couple of towels a thick blanket something to cushion your back and so it's not so hard on your tailbone and everything when you're lying down all right so here we go i'm gonna use my eight pound this is our sky reaches so as a reminder we're gonna put our feet out wide dig your heels into the ground and that's your anchor for your body okay you're going to cup that dumbbell soup can whatever you have at home and then you're going to curl kind of rounding your back and then you're going to sit up nice and tall okay here we go three two one we have ten curl and up nice and tall when you're coming up two curl 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 nice control when you're coming down that's how you're activating every single one of those ab muscles right that's four that's five how you guys doing i'm not gonna lie these are tough when i first started working out about five or six years ago like on a regular basis i hated doing abs and i can i can still honestly say they're not my favorite muscle to train but i've come leaps and bounds five years ago guys i could not do this so don't get frustrated with yourself if you're having trouble you do the best that you can maybe one more do the best that you can you know what rome wasn't built in a day change does not happen now overnight change comes with showing up every day and consistency that is the key to success not just with your your physical activity but with your eating too you can't expect to eat clean one day and drop a couple pounds an x it doesn't work that way you have to be consistent all right frog abs we're on the ground here we go hands are here for stability you're touching the heels of your feet your knees are going to draw in to your chest as you're crunching here we go three two what and crunch to really contract those abs when you're coming in four five six seven eight nine who's burning <laughs> and ten Woo. i am i am all right we got mountain climbers okay so if you don't want to do the quick high impact we're starting out in plank form then you're just going to step them okay here we go three two one we have 16. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten come on guys 12 13 14 15 16 good just sit it back, stretch it out for half a second here. Woo, good work. All right, last exercise in round number two. Woo, it's going a little quicker now, right? Now that you guys know what to expect, 
And I'm sweating. Can you guys see? I'm sweating bullets. I hope you are too. All right, last move in our second set. We have those stabilized jump squats. You're welcome. <laughs> Hate me today, love me tomorrow, right? We're in this squat position. Now, when we're coming into those two hops, I want you to think this and how you're landing. Heel toe, heel toe. That's why I want your feet to land when we're coming into that front jump. When you're coming back, it's toe heel, toe heel. Okay, because that's how you're gonna remind yourself on how you want to jump softly, front and back. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. We have four reps. Each time we go front and back, that's one rep. Three, two, one. Heel toe, toe heel. That's one. Good. That's two, nice flat back. I know your quads are burning. <laughs> this is three. Come on guys, last time, last time, last time, last time. And done, woo. Oh, my quads felt it on that one. How about you? <laughs> All right, recovery time again. Grab some water, walk around. One more set, you guys. This time, I'm gonna try not to talk as much, but I, I am talking as much as I am because I wanna keep you motivated. I wanna make sure you guys are on track. You're doing it with good form, all that good stuff, right? Because you're not right here in my studio, right beside me, I just wanna add reminders to you on what you should be doing in every exercise to keep you safe, okay? All right. All right. Whew, I'm gonna wipe off my sweat a little bit. It's starting to creep in my eye and I don't want to be blinded <laughs> in my last set. All right. Who's ready for the last set? Woo! We got this, guys, right? You know, I know everything's getting tired. Everything's getting fatigued. Here is where I want you to push. Push like you never pushed before. This is what's going to get you uh, results and chiseled and conditioned. Don't give up. If you're finding you're having trouble with some of these movements, then do the modification like I showed you, okay? Just don't stop. Even if you need to jog, walk in a spot, just keep moving. That's all I want you guys to do, okay? Like I said, especially if this is your first workout, you can't expect to do this with perfection. I'm still, nobody's perfect. You just have to work at it, right? Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna uh, do my inchworms from this angle this time. Here we go, feet are together. And we're rolling down. Walk out into that plank, hold for one second. Slowly walk it back. Roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Good, that's one. Roll it down. Plank. Walk it back. Nice, that's two. I love this one. I know I mentioned that already, but I really do. I just feel like your whole body is getting this wonderful, lovely stretch. I think that's four. One more, guys. Okay. And up you come. And roll it up. Good. Lateral bounds. Now you can do this without the weight or you're gonna do it with a light dumbbell, soup can. Pick your poison. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have your dumbbell here if you're using the dumbbell. You're gonna explode off of that weight bearing leg. All right, we got 20. Come on guys, last time, last time for these. Three, two, one, here we go. One, two, if you need to top it, if you don't have that balance, that's okay. Otherwise, you're gonna tuck your leg behind like I'm doing right now. Okay, I think this is what? 12, 14, 15, 16, 18. Let's do two more, <laughs> just in case I miscounted. You guys are gonna hate me because you're like, we did 20, what is she doing? And those of you who know me, 
and have trained in my gym with me, I'm all about the two more reps, right? You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right, we're back to burpees. Or you can do a burpee with a dumbbell shoulder raise, okay? I'm gonna stick with my dumbbells. I'm wanting to work my arms a little bit more. You do whatever you want, you do you. And even if you're having trouble, I'm gonna show you with jumping out that burpee, just step it out and come up. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, here we go. Burpee, you're either gonna jump it, bicep to shoulder raise. We got 10, two, three. Come on guys, you're doing great. You guys are stronger than you think. Good job. More than halfway there. Okay, that's seven. This is eight. Nine, and last one, and 10. Who, who did dumbbells and who did jumping? I'm kind of curious to see what you guys are doing at home. You can let me know, you can let me know after. It's all good, I'm just curious. <laughs> all right, jump squats. Here we go, we're gonna go right into it. If you don't wanna jump, you're just gonna take it up on your toes. All right, here we go, we got 10 of them. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Nice and soft when you land. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good work. All right, we're gonna just breathe for a couple seconds. Our breaks are a little shorter this time. Sumo jump squats. I'm gonna do it without the weight this time. If you wanna do it with a dumbbell or no jumping, like I said, you do you. Whatever is comfortable for you, your strength, your endurance, whatever is best for your knees, right? Safety is always first. And you need to look after your body. Okay, I'm gonna jump, but just with no dumbbell. Here we go. Three, two, one, one. Come back down to that squat, nice and low. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Oh, I lost my balance on that last one. Good work, guys. All right, we are halfway there. We have like five or more exercises and we're done. It goes quickly. Once you get into it, it does go quickly. All right, around the world. So we're gonna do that front lunge. Here we go, three, two, one. Front lunge, it's kind of your active recovery, but don't get me wrong, your body and your legs and your heart rate are very much still working hard for you. Okay, this is two. Now, if you don't wanna to lunge too deep, you don't have to. If you wanna stay there, that's fine. You'll get there. Your flexibility will improve over time. I lost my balance again. I think this is number five. <laughs> I can't talk and do these for some reason. Ooh. Good. Shake it out. Okay. What we do on one side, we have to do on the other. Whatever side you started with, just do the opposite side. Three, two, one. Front lunge. Keep those legs locked on that lunge, side lunge. Sorry, your outer leg locked. So this leg is locked, right? And back. Lunge, keep your back nice and flat. Remember, in the first set, I said no hump back. Side lunge. And they think this is the last one. Ugh. Now I know why some of these people do professional videos, <laughs> have a counter for them. Because it's hard to count and kind of 
keep everybody on track. So like I said, just bear with me. All right. We have three more ab exercises. So we're back to those sky reaches, guys. Okay. Get your mat out, a blanket, a couple of towels, something that's going to protect you a little bit from a hard surface. Okay. I'm feeling a little good with my abs. I was using eight pounds. I'm going to use my 10 pound. I'm going to push myself a little harder. <laughs> Normally when I do these on my own, I have um, a medicine ball. As you can see, my medicine balls in the back. And I usually do about 12, 12, 13 pounds, something like that. So you can do this with a dumbbell. So easy, so to speak. <laughs> okay, heels in. You're sitting up nice and tall, cupping that dumbbell. Elbows are tucked in. And here we go. I'm going to go down and squeeze up nice and tall. So curl every abdominal muscle. Curl, 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 curl. And a little momentum coming up. So every abdominal on the way down is becoming engaged. Good. And you know what? Like I said, five years ago, I couldn't do these, let alone talk doing these. And you know, and some days I surprise myself. I'm like, you know, I used to suck at these. And I would be like, ready to puke sometimes because I was so, so out of shape. So it just goes to show that with consistency and patience and eating well, anything is possible. Maybe we're doing more than 10, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna those frog abs again. Okay, so your heels are gonna touch. <sighs> Your hands are here for stability, okay? Heels are touching. We're gonna draw the knees up to the chest in three, two, one. One, two, three. Contract those abs. Four, every time you're coming up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo! Oh, it hurts so good. Burn so good. You guys may not feel this now, but you might feel it tomorrow. And I'm going to talk about self-care in a second, too. All right, mountain climbers. Two more exercises, you guys. Woo! Okay. We have 16. Up into plank. Ready? Here we go. Step it out if you don't want to run it. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay. Last one, last one. I kind of saved this one for last because it is one of the harder moves of the day. But I want you to finish this move strong. Push through the burning. And you know what? Get comfortable with being uncomfortable because that little bit of like muscle burn and pain is only gonna be short lived. Once you stop doing that exercise, it goes away. So push through it. I know you can do it. I believe in you. You just have to believe in you. All right, we got four of these. Front and back counts as one rep, remember? Here we go, three. Two, one, heel toe, heel toe. Now, if you got some range of motion here, you can really hop it. If not, just do little hops. But I want you engaged in this squat position at all times. Last one, I know, I know, I know. It hurts. And done. Yay! Pat yourself on the back, you guys. You did amazing. I would love to hear your feedback when you guys are done, while we're stretching. Just let me know how you did. If you used weights, if you used your own body weight, if you're able to do the whole thing. I would love to know because I can't see you or hear you. I still want to know how you did and I want to hear from you. All right. Let's grab a sip of water. 
Oh. So if you guys have just started working out, are not used to a vigorous workout program, then stretching is going to be one of your best friends. And heal up. Because stretching is going to help limber up your muscles after an intense workout like we just did, okay? Breathe in again. This time I want you to stretch to one side. Now there's also some things you can do for muscle soreness. It's called DOMS, Delayed Onset Muscle Soreness. And I just want you, I'm gonna back up here. I want you to slide down your thighs and push your thighs apart and just hold it. We're gonna get a nice inner thigh stretch here. Um, you can take Epsom salt baths, a um, couple handfuls of Epsom salt, half a cup of baking soda and your favorite essential oil. I like to put lavender in mine. I like to mine at bedtime because it helps me relax and sleep. Just rotate one shoulder. We're gonna push your thighs apart a little bit more. So you can do that. Soak in a hot tub for about 20 minutes. It's gonna release uh, toxins. It's gonna help with your muscle soreness. Just limber up your muscles even more. And other shoulder. Another thing you can do, if you have coconut oil, that could be your carrier oil. Put a few drops of peppermint oil in there and just rub it together. And you can rub that on your legs, your arms, your bum, wherever you're feeling that muscle soreness. Um, it's gonna help relieve some of those those symptoms. So that's another thing you can do. And we're going to go center again. Glutamine. Glutamine is branched chain amino acids. And when we're working out, especially with uh, weight training, you're tearing those muscle fibers apart. So um, it's going to help with muscle repair and turn help with the soreness. So you can take it before you work out. You can take it after. You can take it before bed. Um, it's usually one scoop in a glass of water. It doesn't taste like anything. So that's a good thing. So you can also do glutamine and roll it up. Okay, uh, let's stretch out your quads. I don't have the best balance, so I'm gonna hold on to my pillar here. You're gonna grab the back of your foot. And I have short legs and short arms. So I find it's hard for me. <laughs> Jen Shields, if you're watching, I need to really get onto your your yoga so I can improve my flexibility. Oh. We're gonna stretch out your quadriceps. Good. We're gonna take that same leg, we're gonna fold it over your knee, and we're going to sit. Now this is stretching your glutes, your hamstrings, your IT band. Now if you can do it without any balance, go for it. Good, all right, other side. Oh geez, I don't wanna get out of the camera view, so. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna hold it here, you guys. My back is to you, I apologize. And you know what? I'm okay with being a little silly and not perfect because nobody's perfect. It's about being real and I'm not gonna pretend that I don't have struggles with certain moves and exercise because I do. Um, there's certain things I'm really good at and some things I'm not so good at and my balance is one of them And you guys will find the same you guys are maybe good at You know doing ab work. Maybe you're not so good at doing Strength training for legs. Everybody has a weakness and a strength. So It's okay to let that show through. We're human, right? As you can see Okay, you're gonna stretch that out. Now I want you to come to a nice wide stance. Okay, you're gonna roll down, touching your, your shins. Now if you have the flexibility, you can touch the floor and just let your, your head hang out here. Now if the stretch is too much, you can do a little micro bend in your knees to take the pressure off of the stretch in your glutes and your hamstrings. But if you do have the flexibility, you can straighten your legs and just let yourself hang out here. Good. All right. Bend your knees. Slowly curl up one vertebrae at a time. Okay. We're going to go into pigeon, a pigeon stretch. So we're going to come down on the floor. Okay. We're going to bring one knee up. 
and extend that back leg. Now, you can stretch it here. You're going to feel the stretch right in your glutes and your IT band. Now, if you want this a little bit more intense, you can come down on your forearms. Now, if that's painful or if it's too much, you're going to come back up onto your, onto your hands. Because stretching should never be to the point of pain. Stretching should be to the point where you feel a nice deep stretch. The moment it becomes painful, then no, it's not, it's not working for you. So you just need to take it back a notch, okay? I feel good here, so I'm going to take it back on my forearms. All right. Well, thank you so much, you guys, for joining me today. I am super stoked. Um, I have been doing most of my workouts on Facebook Live. Um, this is my first, um, we're going to switch sides here, my first Instagram Live workout. And uh, yeah, I love that we have this technology to do this. And I was saying yesterday, too, uh, to some of my girls that uh, you guys inspire me to want to work out every day because if I know I have to teach a class, it's keeping me accountable. So thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for showing up and joining me in these classes because, you know, it's, we're in really uncertain, weird times. And I know, like yesterday um, was a bad day for me. I was really angry and depressed and uh, crying a lot. And, and I think we're all going to have those days, right? We're going to have good and bad days. So knowing that you guys are here for me, it really lifts my spirits. And I hope that um, joining me is lifting yours too. If we can't work out in our gyms, this is a way that we can be together, still be active. And, you know, yesterday, as soon as I did work out, I felt so much better. I felt that anger and depression and rage lift from me. And I, was, I had so much more energy and I felt so much better. So whenever you guys are feeling like that, whether it's yoga, um, cardiovascular, weight training, or, or going for a walk, whatever you can do to get active, I swear to goodness, it's going to help with your mental state, your emotional state, um, sometimes more so than your physical. It's great for both, but especially in these times, if you can do something emotionally um, that's going to help you emotionally, then do it. It's so important right now. All right. We're going to go into child's pose. Okay. So we're going to sit back on those heels, elongate those arms. Good. Oh, my favorite part of the workout. <laughs> All right. And now we're just going to do a cat and a cowl. So we're going to round your back up. And release into tabletop. We're going to do that again. So inhale. Round that back. And exhale. Curl your toes underneath you. And we're going to slowly come up one vertebrae at a time. Last deep inhale for me. And out. And again. And out. Woo, you guys did it. Give me some feedback. What did you think of the workout? How did you do? How was your level of energy? I want to hear it all. Thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart for joining me today. I love you all. I will be posting another workout very soon. And give me some feedback. What would you like to see? Um, we could do a leg workout. We could do a total body. We could do some, some more hit. Um, we could do uh, Lori the other day. One of my, my girls mentioned doing um, a resistance band workout. And... Um, the thing is that might be kind of limited because people have um, only will help have a certain amount of resistance bands and people don't have them. So give me your feedback of what you would like to see in a workout. All right. I love you all. Stay safe. Stay healthy, everybody. Let's take care of each other and let's be kind. Okay. See you guys.